the old world blues now guys uh I'm, i just want to give you a little quick overview before we get into this video old world blues solid dlc i love this dlc and i think if you guys are a fan of fallout i know a lot of you have been on the edge about dead money such as myself um dead money i wasn't a fan of honest hearts i, I really liked honest hearts <clears throat> but it wasn't quite there but this one this one has just nailed it perfectly this is a great dlc so if you guys got the money got the extra ten dollars spend it please do so yeah let me get into the video so you guys want to know how to be extra cool wearing extra cool things and uh let me show you so you want to wear something like this kaboom oh yeah you look like one of those ghost people from uh dead money i don't know why i had a brain fart there but yeah so and i'm sure you guys are wondering how to look like one of these well let me show you um here we are in old world blues spoiler alert i'm in a dome and i can see everything which isn't much of a spoiler but uh yeah so i'm gonna teach you how to get this bad boy and you know what i'm gonna put this on and uh as you can see everything kind of goes greenish because you in you get instant night vision while wearing the hazmat suit and this is what it looks like actually with uh, it on uh this is the hazmat suit and then the hazmat dark light cowl which uh yeah so that's basically what it is um I know after coming out of Dead Money, like, I really wanted to look like one of those ghost people, and now I can, which is awesome. So, yeah, let's, uh, I'll show you how to get one of them. So, here is the actual hazmat testing ground where you will be able to receive the hazmat suit. And, um, I'll show you kind of, like, where I got it, so I'll just give you a little bit of the gist of how that goes. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> and sorry if it, the greenness gets annoying, but... Well, uh, just down here, this is where you will actually, the suit will be laying, and you will have no idea because you need to get some stupid, retarded fucking code to get this, which, let me tell you, it took a lot of searching to do. I was actually adamant enough in myself to find this without looking up a guide or, or something like that, and it looks like we got a Labomite up there. Also, you might be wondering, what is uh, this uh, here? I'll take the helmet off so you can see it a little bit better, but uh, yeah, this... Uh, uh, power fist I had. It's kind of unique, I guess you could say, in some resorts. Um, it is a, uh, let me just destroy this guy real quick. In the face. And then I'm gonna be like, oh my gosh, dismembered in several different places. This thing's awesome. Okay, yeah, so, uh, yeah, the weapon, I'll just kind of go over that real quick. Uh, it's the Saturnite fist, superheated. Basically, all you gotta do is just take a normal Saturnite fist. You can normally find it on Hello, glitch Night Stalker. You can find it on a, like a Lava Knight. They'll typically have them. They're, they're, they're scattered all over this DLC. And you take it to the toaster that thinks he's like, you know, amazing, which is awesome. That toaster's personality is amazing. So yeah, let me just kill these guys real quick just because you can't tra fast travel. Oh gosh, off with the leg. Okay, yeah, so uh, yeah. I had to get rid of all the enemies because the fast travel. Because these guys are everywhere. So you want to go to a place called the Z43 Innovative Toxins Plant. Let's go. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to make this loading screen go by by saying, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today, by the way. I said that in a nice little elegant voice, which is totally random and stupid. I don't know why I did that. It's awesome, though. I like it. Um, okay, light generated from your pit boy light actually makes you less stealthy. Really? You don't say. A light makes me less stealthy. Gosh, that is news to me. Oh, a light mask back on. Greenness. Blurriness, whiteness, greenness. Let's go. Sh -sh -sang. So, yeah, you're going to walk into this place. It's uh, a little bit of irradiated. So, just uh, if you're on the brink of dying with irradiation, which actually I was when I was getting this, uh, maybe not your best bet. Oh, God, these things are freaking killer. All right. You guys have several different options. You can get killed by my Sonic Emitter Robo Scorpion. I actually haven't used, I just upgraded this thing. Let's go. Zoom! You guys can get a little uh, sneak peek on how, what the uh, new weapons do. So this is like a emitter, and I just blew a guy into a green shit, basically. Congratulations on dying. You're dead! What? Whoa! Hello? Is that a Tesla cannon? I don't think I've actually uh, gotten a Tesla cannon out of this. DLC before, that's interesting. Well, hey guys, you guys are the first to see it. Die, you thing. All right, well, 
Oh, I did something I probably shouldn't have done. Hold on, let me destroy him. Burn yes! Oh yeah, that's just oh, that's just wrong shit. Let me go get that Tesla cannon just real quick. Sorry for doing that to you, Tesla cannon. It's a normal one, so that's awesome. Okay, so yeah, back to uh, where you actually have to get this code to get the hazmat. I know I've done a lot of miscellaneous side things, but you know what, can't hurt to add in. So yeah, the code will be sitting roughly, um, th you'll see this white crate in these, uh, you know, th these, I don't know what you would call them, storing filing cabinets. It'll be sitting like right on the ground, right behind the white crate. It's uh, actually, it kind of blends in with the color of the cabinets, so it's, you, I didn't catch it the first couple times. Um, but yeah, you will be able to find it. Give me some of them stim packs. Oh yeah. Um, relatively easy just by looking at this. So yeah, guys, um, all you gotta do is just take the code back to the, um, the, uh, the hazmat testing place, whatever it was called, first place that we went to, and you guys should have yourself a nice, shiny new bit of armor. Oh yeah. All right, this was Montage signing out. You guys have a freaking awesome day or life or anything like that. Goodbye.